horrible death and painful agony, maiming. It's good for you. Rock and roll has always been like that. The more downtrodden the band, the better the music. That's why England produced so many good bands, right? You're the stupidity of the human race. Yeah. March or die, you know, and I wrote all about it. I mean, like you say, I've known it, right? But the lyrics are... I mean, I know when I do a bad lyric, you know what I mean? I know when I do a good one, and this is one of my better ones, right? Um, scathing is the word you would wish to employ. I mean, as if I had the right to tell the human race that it's done, but I'm one of them, so I do have the right, you know? I mean, Hitler was a man, Napoleon was a man. All these people were not boogeymen. They were men, you know, who did this shit. And people don't realise that. They put them over here in this box called boogeyman, and then we can stop worrying about them, right? Because we're not like that. But we are. We're all like that. We all got it in us to torture people to death. All of us. Make no mistake. All you need is unlimited power and the order to do so. And away you'd go. I've been writing anti-heroin songs for a long time. Nobody's ever noticed, of course, because your lyrics are too clever, you know. So um, they still all died anyway. <laughs> I mean, you can't tell nothing to a junkie, you know. There is no sanity clause if you're a junkie. Right? Well, when you write an anti-drug song, is it, is it really... Um... It's anti-heroin, I should say. OK, yeah. I'm not actually against any other drugs. I don't know about crack, because I've never done it, you know. And I've never done heroin, because my friends kept dying. It seemed like a good time to, you know, say no, right? And just say no from George Bush and Reagan means nothing, right? But just say no to somebody you see die with his face blackened, you know, on the floor of the wimpy bar in Old Court Road, right? Somebody sold him rat poison in Piccadilly. Took his money, smiled at him, sold him certain death. Why? Could have sold him lactose, couldn't they? Could have sold him anything, right? He would have took it. Yeah. Could have sold him something harmless. But no, they had to sell him bloody rat poison. And that's the kind of subculture that is. That's why I hate it as well. Kids don't need your advice. Kids need to go out there, be informed about what's going on and make their own minds up. That's what they need. You cannot protect a nation this size from outside influences. And that's what they're trying to do. And it sucks, you know. Or it would if they knew what suck meant. You know, it's my life anyway, isn't it? I've got to live my life the way I see it. I can't, I can't be worried about, oh, will we offend, you know, the, the women against Nazis gay rights group from bloody Vancouver, you know what I mean? I can't be bothered, you know, there's too many of them. So the You've always got to upset somebody, haven't you? Right. They're out there dying to be upset, aren't they? Waiting for you, you know. Upset me, you know, offend me. So as I can write a letter to somebody and protest in most strong terms.